Okay, guys. Spirited NZ brought up a good point. Uh, she said that probably because of my bad eyesight that I can that I can read vibrations easier, and I think that's probably true. And those of you who haven't watched my trauma video, that bad ads, uh, eyesight, you put that with my extremely abusive parents, um, so that it really became part of my daily life, um, very young, to try to read those two guys. And then that led to reading other people <clears throat> in order to not get hurt and to help uh, the other kids in my family not get hurt. So then that led to me being able to read uh, teachers. So I got so that I could, I knew what questions they were going to ask. Um, and then of course that led to eventually nursing, which I could assess patients pretty easily and better because of that ability and then of course that was trumped by dying and coming back so all those things built on my ability to read vibrations and earlier today I was kind of I put on the matrix and I think they did a really good job of explaining things except people tend to take them too literally but the you know how they see the screens and they can look at the screens with the ones and the zeros and they can see pictures well that's similar to me reading frequencies and vibrations only that's very 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 simple but because it's actually uh, what I experience is very beautiful and very much more complex than that but that's a pretty good explanation of it so I got to thinking well how could I help you guys um, read those vibrations better and I thought to use my experience well I don't want you to be traumatized at all so the other thing is my bad vision so what about if you guys tried putting blindfolds on I know that people have done that before to really heighten the other senses and uh, if you did it with your intent of reading those vibrations so it's try to feel for the table in front of you or the wall or the difference between the wall and the doorway uh, those are the more heavy things are uh, I think you could maybe feel the difference between an, an open space and a big piece of furniture or a wall so uh, you might give that a go I think maybe uh, spirited NZ is right that you guys get sidetracked with your vision um, that you see just what's on the surface and you stop there uh, because you're busy looking at what's on the surface so you don't see beyond or deeper than and I have been doing I've been compensating for bad vision for a long time with uh, especially I do it a lot with shadow uh, with shadows but I can definitely when I move slow enough that's how I end up breaking toes and stuff it's because I get to move it too fast because on the other side I'm much much faster so it's hard to slow down here so when I'm moving slow enough I can definitely um, feel where things are so uh, how about that you guys want to give that a try and and see how you do uh, not from the standpoint of the other senses like has been done but maybe this other sense of reading vibrations and see if you see if that um, see if you can pick out things differently uh, outside you can do it outside see if you can tell the difference between uh, a leaf and a tree or uh, just whatever you find uh, flower uh, it'd be really cool if you're with somebody who they could tell you if there was a butterfly coming at you butterflies are very unique vibrations um, that I think are easy but then you know, if I've been doing this, like she says, since I was, you know, two, I think I started wearing glasses, then I've probably been um, doing it for a very long time and just wasn't aware of it. Well, I just looked back at my life, and yes, I was. You know, that's the, I ask these questions, and then I immediately get the answers. So, yeah. So, isn't that cool? So, ultimately, the bad vision has helped me get to, to where I am now, which I love where I am now and uh, even the trauma in my childhood helped me get where I am now 
So, that's what I mean about good, bad things. You know, you just, you know, those were bad things by themselves, but if you add it to the whole, it ended up being a good thing. And that's how things work out here, is that you think it's a bad thing, but it's not. And it goes beyond here. So, you think it that death is a bad thing, but if you looked at the, the Creator God's whole creation and what they were aiming for, it ends up being a good thing. So that's what I want you all to look at, is uh, try to try to understand that even where you've created things that were tough on you, uh, it all ends up being, no matter what you do, it ends up working out for the good in the long run, no matter what you do. Uh, good, bad, according to human belief systems, uh, it still will work out to be beautifully good. You just got to look at it from the right perspective. It's all about perspective. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, big hugs. Love you guys bunches, and I'll talk to you again later. Bye.